right, welcome back. Now time for us to send you some business news and this um, beautiful Tuesday morning. Now we are at the China National Offshore Oil Corporation, whether they call CNOOC, they actually come outside talks that they will increase their venture for inside the Nigeria oil and gas sector, especially for offshore investment, and they will increase them to about $17 billion now within the come outside talk. Now, the chief executive officer will be the CEO of Beijing Based Corporation, Yuan Ganyu, now actually come as I talk this one during by the time we do a visit to the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, whether they call NNPC, in Abuja um, just over the weekend. Now, in come as I talk, say Nigeria, say a key destination for national oil firm. So, it's very important, pa, say they took hand inside to make sure say they boost them. Make it day up to standard. Now the CNOOC, now one of the um, one of the three big Chinese national oil entities, originally that they focused on top offshore upstream, offshore upstream exploration and production. While the China National Petroleum Corporation will be the CNPC that they favor onshore upstream exploration and production. Now the China Petrochemical Corporation Group will be the uh, CNOPEC. The third of the people, I don't mention the three big Chinese national oil entities, they focus on refining and marketing. We get your products for you, we refine them, and we market them to the countries we want to actually buy into your product. Now, within the China Petrochemical Corporation Group, they focus on. Now, apart from over $14 billion, uh, where the, they don't come outside us, they will give the country, they don't also disclose, say the group, we also put in additional $3 billion in, on top of their existing portfolio in the country's offshore oil and gas um, operation. And plenty of other things where they don't come outside talk. Is this a right and very good um, investment? Because now we know, say, NNPC right now, that they go under a lot of scrutiny. Very, very true. NNPC, they under a lot of scrutiny right now. So, well, if this will happen, first of all, may I believe, say, uh, it, it will aid for some kind of transparency in NNPC because now they don't say, no, be just them, they, they get foreign hands inside. And these foreign <laughs> people don't go want, hopefully, <laughs> these foreign people will not go want to soil their own image, which is why I feel, say, it will open, it will give for transparency. Now, mm -hmm. the thing is, say, over time, we don't notice, say, many a times, Unfortunately, when now we, we they do our own things, it gives room for some kind of mago mago. But when you have somebody coming from the outside, we no one selling your image. Unless if that person too, uh, na person will be saying in hand, in way no pure. Uh, in no go also in your own image. And then, considering the fact that the first time we did they come to this kind of oil and gas partnership with Nigeria, they want to leave a very good first impression. Well, can so, I just quickly come in, in there? Come in, please. Just quickly. I, I, don't, I don't deal with companies where they, they get investors from international firms. And one thing where these investors they do be say they go identify some of the loopholes where you get, and then they will give you money to fill in that loopholes. Mm. Then occasionally they will come back to come do some kind uh, investigate. Oh, have you covered this loophole, or you never covered this loophole? They not go actually monitor your spending. You understand? But they will just give you the money. Mm. If this is how it is, we know how all those things they be now. Yes. So if we it know, takes we know me how like this, a lot of international companies even come to Nigeria and set up, and they have good intentions. But when they come here, they are influenced by factors Everything changes. and people. So when we're talking about say we, because they are coming here trying to create first impression, if they are with the right set of people who have certain mindsets, then things may go according to plan. But as we talk, say NNPC right now, they, they answer so many questions on mm -hmm. top mago mago. So them also getting involved is also going to be questionable <coughs> because yeah. these international investors they already they see what they happen with the way NNPC they actually handle a lot of money. The way money they borrow canvas, they join canvas. A lot of people they come and ask the question, why are they even coming at this point in time? It can't be like saying a strategic means where they want you to stay calm. Are they coming here just for their own benefit or are they coming for mutual benefit? Is the question we a lot of people they ask at the end of the day. Well, to just come outside talk about the benefits. Now, they actually come outside talk, say this particular deal, they put them on ground for both countries because both of them, they are oil producing countries, for both countries to join hard together to increase productivity of their oil produce. You see now, now we're focusing once again on this oil matter. This same oil we don't cost We can't so take it away. Gain. No, nobody's saying we should take it away. But where we're, 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 they talk about how investors are coming in to look at the oil sector, mm -hmm. why are we not also focusing on investors that are coming in to talk about other, other sectors, sectors, how to put their hand in other sectors to make sure say those other sectors also they're as cajun as oil sector. Tourism is it, it has so much potentials in this country. Natural resources has so much potential totally in this agree. country. Yeah, so true. many things that we are just wasting. Well, I'm not even talking about 
agriculture, commodity agriculture. Let's look at other things that are even non-agricultural based that we are not even focusing on. So but this you know oil what, is a blessing, it's also a curse. It is, it is. But we never actually put those things where you don't mention for grants, for investors who come and say, oh, this is very beautiful, let me invest. No, but when you're, looking at oil, when you're looking at oil, it was investors that came to show us. Not hey, yes, that, that, that's the history, so right? So those investors they show us, we come and show us potentials. Is it is or you want to show us about show, oil? What is the show of potential? Let us let us let us attack our yeah. government. Let yeah. they come out two car inside. Listen, yeah. what you just talked now. We say we want to talk too. Now it, it, the the honest lies on us, you yeah. know, to show people say, okay, apart from oil, we have this, we have this, we have that. Come and we're invest we're waiting, in this. Well, well. But but let's not forget. No, no, forget. Say, unfortunately, right, our our biggest export now still oil. It's still oil. So right now, why we see they generate money from oil? Like like uh, Kemi Adeo should be in talk. In our truth, our government they try to diversify income. But we, we still know if we take our eye come up for the biggest market where we get. So why we see they take money from there? Now, now what do we take the money do? Then go be the problem. If we can take the revenue where we get from oil, they take improve other sectors. A time goes where we say oil and other sectors go almost there. They body to be, so yeah. the body, they give us more um, revenue. I totally so agree. Everything where you talk, very, very correct. Everything still lies on our government. Very true. I totally agree. But we'll go wait and see how far this investment, about $17 billion, um, go actually um, go in making sure, say, um, our um, downstream, the oil sector, um, offshore investment, oil, offshore seg sector, mm -hmm. right? Offshore. They're very um, cadred. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.